Hey there, it's Lisa. Today we're going to be using foam board from the Dollar Tree. I've also got some rope. I'm going to cut out the shape of this rectangle. That's just my little cutting mat. And I'm going to use a blade to do that. And then I've got some peel and stick wallpaper that I ordered from Amazon. It's really pretty. It's that kind of distressed shiplap look. And I'm just going to cut out a piece that fits over that foam board that I cut out. I'm going to start at one end and just line that up over the edge because I want to wrap it around a little bit and then slowly I'll pull the bottom out and smooth it. I'm also going to fix the end there and make sure it lays nice and flat. And so you see how I'm pulling it while I smooth it? For me, I found that's the best way to avoid wrinkles and bubbles. It doesn't mean you never get them. It just gives me a fighting chance, which trust me, I need that. Anyway, now I'm just going to fix that onto the back and make sure that it's nice and flat. Doesn't that look nice? I'm going to use my brayer and smooth it out. Then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to put this large rope all the way around with the hot glue and just cut off the end. I'm going to add a hanger to the back using the metal piece from a clothespin and a little bit of masking tape and hot glue and that should do the trick. Now I'm going to draw what looks like a mason jar. Now I'm not saying I can draw a mason jar. I was looking at one but I kind of made it lopsided. I'm gonna to try to fix that later with some of this twine. So I'm gonna line the outside with twine with some hot glue. I'm gonna go all the way around the entire thing. That's when it becomes more noticeable that it was lopsided. But before I fix it, I'm gonna put some beautiful florals. I think some of these are from Dollar Tree, some are from Walmart. Just gonna put them over the top of that twine on the top because I want it to look like it's floating on the inside of the mason jar. I've done something similar to this once using a piece of wood instead of foam board. So I wanted to do it with foam board to show you that you don't always have to have wood around to create something. And this is a very economical way to do it because you get more than one thing out of a you know a large foam board. Now I'm going to try to create an illusion that this isn't lopsided by adding a little more twine on the side that was further in and then a little bit on the inside of the side that was sticking out. I don't know if that did the trick, but it was worth a shot. I'm going to take this beautiful lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put one row of it across. I also put some more of the twine over the flowers to look like the ridges or threads of the mason jar. I made a quick little awareness bow, just kind of tack that together with some hot glue. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the edges at an angle. I'm going to add another small piece of lace into the middle to give it a pretty center so that it looks finished off just by hot gluing that to the back. And then it looks like, you know, a perfectly folded bow. I'm going to hot glue that right to the front of the mason jar. And that's it. Isn't that pretty? I think it's gorgeous. And I love the one I did before. So I thought this would be fun to do another one. And of course, you know, you get better every time you do it. Hope you like it. For this Dollar Tree foam board hack, I'm going to take this wooden circle and just trace it onto this black foam board. They have the foam board in black and white at Dollar Tree. I'm going to take a blade and I'm just going to cut out that circle. Make sure that your blade is very sharp and new. Mine was not doing a great job. I ended up switching to a different blade just to finish it off. Then I've got these dowels or skewer sticks that you can get from the Dollar Tree and many other craft stores. People use them for like barbecuing shish kebabs, that kind of thing. And I'm going to create a kind of a boho design. I saw something on Pinterest that inspired me. So I'm just going to mark where I want to cut each one based on the shapes and kind of like I'm doing some shorter, some longer. You could actually do any design that you want. This is just kind of what I went with. This is totally up to you. I'm going to take my miter shears that I got on Amazon. It's a wonderful tool, especially if you have arthritis and it's hard to squeeze. This actually cuts very easily. Another one, you have to keep that blade nice and sharp by changing it out. I'm going to start in the middle of the design. I have them laid out to the left there. And I'm going to start in the center and just kind of start putting them together on either side. That way I won't lose track of what I'm doing. And I wasn't going for a perfection, of course. I'm just going for an abstract design, which is, you know, the kind of thing you see in a lot of boho projects, you know, either the very natural earthy or something like this. So there it is. And I think it's really an interesting look. Then I'm going to put a hanger on the back. I'm just marking the spot. I'm going to use the metal piece from the clothespin and, of course, hot glue and masking tape to secure it like I usually do. Sometimes I do twine. Sometimes I do this. Just, I guess, whatever I think of at that moment. But either one is a great way. And I've also been suggested to use pop-top cans. So there's another idea for you. I'm going to put Mod Podge over this entire thing, including the skewers. 
Now I'm going to take some twine and I'm just going to put it all the way around. I'm going to think I'm going to do about three times around just to cover the edge and make it look finished and nice. I had a little gap there, so I did add one more. That was the third all the way around just to finish it off. And I think it came out beautiful. I love the look. It's not the way I decorated my house, but I do think that it's very, very nice looking. I've got a succulent from the Dollar Tree. And then, of course, I've got this reindeer moss that I got at Walmart. I'm going to hot glue some moss on kind of in a circular shape if you will it's not a perfect circle because it's moss after all and it just sticks out and then I'll also attach with a lot of hot glue the succulent right to the center and I thought that really finished it off and made it look beautiful and I love that look and I'm not good with plants so anything I can do that the plant won't die um, in other words faux plants well that works just fine for me <laughs> let me know what you think For this Dollar Tree foam board hack, I'm going to take a white foam board and then I've got this uh, vinyl, like, I guess it's like a shelf liner kind of a thing. It's not sticky on the back. It's just, but it's kind of uh, thick and a little foamy like. So anyway, it's hard to describe it, but it's got a nice texture. It doesn't, it's not flat. Let me just put it that way. It has, it definitely has a texture on it. I'm going to cut a piece that will cover this little square that I cut out on the foam board and I'm going to start hot gluing it at the top let it hang over the edges a little bit and then continue down in sections I just find that it's easier to control things like that when you do them in sections if it's small enough yeah go ahead and do the whole thing but I just like to make sure I can you know push it down and lay it flat I'm now going to attach the ends and the back over the sides that it, that it overhangs on and I will do that for both of those sides Now I'm going to take some twine, actually it's a little thicker, it's more like rope, and I'm going to hot glue a diagonal up to one of the corners, and then I'll cut a piece off, and then I'll start at the other end and go back to the other corner. Now you could shape this any way you want. I'm doing this like a little mini bulletin board where you could hang things with little clothes pins, but also it's foam board, so you'd be able to stick pins in it and hang something that way as well. I'm going to do a twine or rope hanger on this one using hot glue and masking tape. Not sure if you know this, but I started posting daily on Pinterest. I'd love for you to come join me. The link is down below in my description box. Hope to see you there. Now I'm gonna take this beautiful lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna put it just at the top all the way around all four sides. So at the edges, I should say. And I'm just gonna hot glue that on and I will cut each piece as I finish so that they don't have to be turned at the corner and then I'll just trim off any excess that hung over so then I glue down those corners so it looks like perfectly you know cohesive piece I'm going to add some clothes pins to each of the rope pieces on there and really just adding some florals in the corner to give it a little bit of a prettier look you could do whatever you want you could put something else on there I just thought some beautiful purple flowers and some greenery would really really be a nice touch just to make this look a little bit prettier now you could put whatever would match the room Room you're going to put it in. So if it was the kitchen, you know, maybe put some lemons or something a little farmhouse if your kitchen is farmhouse, you know, whatever it might be. And if it's in the bedroom, do whatever matches your room. I love how it turned out. I think it's very soft and pretty. You could use any of the shelf liners you want. This one's a little bit feminine, but do what you like. Let me know what you think. To make this beautiful welcome sign, we're going to take a piece of the foam core board and this round wooden sign from the Dollar Tree, which I'm just going to use to get my circle shape. And I'll cut that out with my rotary cutter. I'm going to put a piece of tape, not quite in the middle, because I want to section it off and I'm going to use my Waverly Ocean colored paint. It's a beautiful blue. And I'm going to paint down away from the tape and then just paint the rest of that whole bottom piece. It took about two coats. And the best part, taking the tape off. Look at that. Who doesn't love that? Now I've got this removable wallpaper from Amazon and there's a link to my Amazon store down in the description box where you'll find most of my favorite things that I get there in case you need them too. And I'm just going to pull the backing off a little bit on one end, fold it under, and then take the sticky part and line it up and then slowly pull underneath to remove the backing. And then I'll get my brayer and I'll start smoothing it out. And that way there won't be any bubbles or wrinkles. And this really makes it nice and easy. You just do a little bit at a time. 
I saw this beautiful welcome sign on Pinterest and I thought I could do something very similar by using the foam core board. Now there's excess going around on purpose and I'm just going to cut little snips and then fold them over the back because that's the best way to do it without getting weird little points. And then I had this coastal twine from the Dollar Tree. It's like white and twine colored. And I just wrapped it around several times where the blue meets the wallpaper and up at the top. And I've got this metal welcome sign from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put my Aileen's Tacky Glow on the back. And then I'm going to set that over the blue portion. And I love the way that just pops. I am going to wipe off all that excess glue. It does dry clear, but I don't want it to dull the shine on the welcome sign. And then I've got some beautiful florals from the Dollar Tree and I just took some blue ones and yellow ones and the leaves that go with them and I cut off the little ends and I hot glued them together and then positioned them just the way I want. You could do this any way that you want, whatever you like. You could get several signs out of one piece of the foam core board. So you actually can beat the Dollar Tree price by making, let's say, three signs out of one. So that's only $1.25 instead of buying three wooden rounds. So that's a great way to save money and get more out of it. Favorite song on, I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feel it. And when I wrapped that twine around, I left a little bit in the back to make a hanger. And that's it. I hope you guys like this one. Let me know. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would. Ready for more inspiration? Here's another video I think you'll really like. If you click on it, I will see you there. You are truly a blessing to me. Bye.